Okay, so welcome to Let's Talk. So this is a special edition, and um, we're going to just talk about the uh, the England squad, the one that's just been announced for the uh, the next three qualifiers uh, against San Marino, um, Albania, and Poland. I'm um, just going to give our feedback and uh, what we think. So, do you want to go for it, Sean? What what you what are you thinking? First um, first reactions. I'm actually, you know, it's a it's a good squad actually. Um, I feel like some players were unfortunate to get in, obviously, due to injury. Oh, sorry, yeah, some players that weren't on in the, in the squad due to injury are very unfortunate. Uh, but uh, overall, I kind of understand why, you know, uh, Southgate's picked the squad he's picked. You know, I, th I feel like a lot of them picked themselves. The one I am shocked about is the Sam Johnston. Uh, the, who who the, would you put in there? The goalkeeper. Who, who would you put but, in instead of Sam Johnston there? Well, that's what I was thinking, actually. I've been trying to think who, what other English goalkeepers have we got, but I can't, I'm I'm kind of, like, shocked in terms of, like, I'm not saying he's not a good goalkeeper, but in a way, that's all we have. Like, mm. in terms of, like, top quality goalkeepers, we only have Pickford, Pope, Henderson, and then we've got Johnston. Like, that's all the English top goalkeepers we have. So, I guess it's better than nothing, but I'm just saying that, you know, uh, uh, but often now, I feel like the defence pick itself Depending on who's going to start, I have no idea. Uh, the midfield right now, pick yourself. I'm glad to see Lingard back in there. He deserves to be... I think he deserves to be back in for his recent performances. Um, Bellingham's had a good... Been well... Done well for Dortmund as well. So he, he does deserve his call up. And, uh, you know, Oli Watkins. I'm glad he's in. He deserves to be in. You know, he's worked so hard for Aston Villa. And, you know, considering it's his first season in the Premier League, he's been fantastic for them. And he, 100% for me, deserves a call up. When he's going to play, uh, I'm sure he'll get a little run out. He deserves a couple of a cap. A I would have thought he'd get a game so, with the team that uh, play in. Good, good squad. Yeah. Yeah, because um, sure, yeah, well, the way Kane, Kane's been on and off his injuries, you know, he'd probably mm. definitely get a, get a game or two. Go on, wouldn't he? Yeah, I mean, Sam Johnston, just on your comment on that, like, I think he's had a good season, to be fair. Like, I think he's done... I know West Brom are obviously down there, but I think he's probably been their best player, like, down there. So, I think... Um, I mean, it's it's hard. There's not many young English. I, I was trying to think of young English goalkeepers that are coming through, but I can't really think of any. Can you? I'm no, looking at the under twenty one yeah, squad. And, not, not yeah, there's minute, no. No, so yeah, Sam Johnson, I think, is um, a decent call up. I don't think he'll play, to be honest. I'm, he's a body, isn't he? Like, I don't think he'll play. Um, but, uh, but yeah, in the defence, I mean, interesting one, Trent. No Trent. Well, yeah. No Trent. I, I I don't think that's. I don't think we can. I don't think. I think that's fair. If you look at, it, I think that's a big call. I think that's I a think, very big call. Poor. Can't, can't. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're not doing it, if you're not doing it, you're not doing it, mate. But also, Klopp, in a way, was a bit like hmm, he was um and an hour whether he really wanted a lot of the, his players to go to international duty. Yeah, but anyway. yeah, but he's got. He's got saying, nothing. Like, it, no, but Klopp, Klopp can say what he wants. Like if Southgate wants to pick him, no, Southgate no, picks no, him. I, no, I agree. It's just like, you know, that's just how he felt, isn't it? You know, Klopp, you know... No, it's true, that's what he was doing, but... Because I can't see no Liverpool players in there anyway. You know what I mean? So, obviously through injuries and all that, you know, you know what I mean? So, I'm not surprised... <laughs> there in, is there? Is there a Liverpool really player in this squad? I'm not in it, because let's be honest, like... No. Is there a Liverpool player in this squad? Not for all I can see, you know? Not one. But then... No, but think about it. Who, who from Liverpool would actually get in apart from... Who would it be? It'd be Henderson and Trent. Henderson, yeah. Henderson and Trent, yeah. He yeah, Henderson's always injured. Poor guy. And Trent's not really performed that well, you know what I mean? And uh, it's, kind, it's kind of hard for me to... You know what I mean? You've got Walker, who has just been going under the radar and been solid. Like, this mm. guy just goes under the radar. I don't get the applause. Trippy has been solid. Look, I think top of the league. You can't, it's hard to complain with that. Chelsea on form. Reese James. Well, the thing about Reese James is... He's been splitting. It's been between him and Aston mm. Villa playing on, playing off. It's the same like left back. Luke Shaw will have to play because you look at yeah. Chilwell. Chilwell's been excellent, but he's been getting dropped here and there for Marcos Alonso. You know what I mean? So he's got a fight on. Has to get in uh, the team. So you know, what I mean, centre. I I don't even know where. You, I don't even know. I don't even know what you you know where you'd start with centre backs. I don't know who's going who would play, but uh, it's a tricky one. Absolutely, absolutely yeah, I mean, well, I think. Killed, yeah. You happy with that? I mean, just just going back on Trent, like I think he's made quite a bold decision with Trent. Okay, I think previous managers they would have said um, they 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 normally pick the stars. You know, the stars that's not perform. And I think 
Trent is a world class right, right back. I don't think anyone deny that, but he's he's not been on form lately. Everyone can see that. I think it's quite a bold a bold choice. I think he's done. I think he's done well. Mm-hmm. It's like you said about Carl Walker. Um, he's he's been solid. Like he's not put a foot wrong. Do you know what I mean? So, um, and Reece James has been playing well as a young young player. I mean, the only thing I say about defence is uh, mm-hmm. Connor Cody's been playing well, but Eric Dyer should not be in that squad for me. I don't know what you think about that. But then, but, but then who do you put in? Because who do you put in? Trent? Yeah, anyone. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't put Eric Dyer in. No, I wouldn't. But he's been, I know, but he's, been play, he's also been playing. He plays every game. He plays every game you can, as well. Playing bad every game means you get into the squad. That's Trent. Trent's been playing every game. He's not in the squad. True. But who are you going to play? <laughs> who are you going to play, though? Who else like, is there? We, like, we need, we need, like, if you look at that, right? The lad from Villa. What about that lad from Villa? Who are you going to play centre off? That lad from Villa. Oh, um, Tyro Mings. Yeah, Mings, he plays centre half. Tyro Mings, you say? Yeah, Mings. He's been all right. He's been Connor all right. Cody. Okay, okay. Connor so Cody. He's one, he's one for you then. So, how about Michael, Ke- Michael Keane? Michael Keane. Over Michael Keane, exactly. <laughs> Michael Keane, exactly. So, so, you're saying maybe, maybe drop him for Eric Dyer? Yeah, and maybe, Michael maybe Keane, if you, look at the stats, if you look at the stats on Michael Keane, he, um, he's got like the best defending, he, average rating wise, he's like the best in the Premier League at the moment. He's one of the best in the Premier League, like he's been flawless. Yeah, Michael Keane, 100%. I would not take it, I think Dyer's, I think with his squad though, and mm. with Lingard that we'll come on to, he sort of Southgate's boys. Do you know what I mean? Eric Dyer's a Southgate boy. He's, he scored the winning penalty against Columbia. He's a bit of his boy. And I think that's why he's picked him. But I don't think he should be going. I don't think he's good enough. No. Go on, what are you saying about midfield then? I think that's... A, okay. For the players that are available and not injured, that is a solid... That's as good as what you can get. That's a solid, solid midfield. That's as good as what you can get, to be quite honest. Like, I, you just kind of feel bad that people like Barnes, Madison's injured... They're injured, yeah. Um, what where Sancho? Like where's Sancho? And British. What about uh, Sancho? I think, he's, I think he might be injured for Dortmund. I think he yeah, might be yeah. injured. But having said that, he's not performed. He's not been. He's not had no. a good season at all by his, by his standards. So, but and, and even if he was in, he would. You probably put him in the front six. Mm. So, you know, it's just it's a tricky one. But well, yeah, what do you think about that midfield? Obviously, your guy Calvin Butters is in there. My boy's in there. Um, he deserves it for me. I think he's 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 done well. I think Harry Winks obviously is not in there, um, but he's not playing them as much. Um, well, Prowse is having a good season. Jane, Mason Mount's having a fantastic season, so he deserves to be in there. Phil Phone is brilliant. Uh, quite, I think it's quite bold with Lingard. I think he's gone bold with Lingard because, um, I mean, a couple of weeks ago you didn't even know who Lingard was type thing. He, he wasn't. Do you know what I mean? A couple of weeks ago he want he he was in the reserves for Man United. He wasn't even playing for them. Um, so I think that's quite. That, that's what I mean. It, it's kind of his boy. Like, do you know what I mean? He was his boy in the in the World Cup. So he he sort of picked yeah. him. But I mean, he's playing well, Jesse Lingard. So I'm not going to complain about it. But I think that one's quite a um, like a bold pick. Um, but yeah, like midfield wise, right? Jack Greedish is probably unlucky just because he's coming back from injury. Isn't he? So um, he's injured. He's injured. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Injured. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm looking at. There's a few. There's I mean, who do you leave out if they if these lot come yes, back? Yes, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> Barnes, Madison, Grealish, then three. What three would you take out? Bellingham, Lingard, and probably Ward Prowse. Well, 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 that's take a, out of that. And it will Saka's in there as well. Only Saka's like a midfielder, isn't he? Got Henderson, maybe Henderson. Henderson's in there. You take it, yeah. Saka's got a, Saka. Saka has, Saka has to be in there on merit. Saka has mm. to be in there. I think Saka's been brilliant, and, and plus he's. If you're a sucker, he's probably the most versatile one out uh, of uh, anyone can play in anywhere, the squad. Yeah. yeah. i tell you someone I've not mentioned, actually. Just sorry, going back to the defence. Uh, Matt Taggart. He's had a great season. Who's that? He's, I mean, it's ha- Matt Taggart for Villa. He has, yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. He's had a brilliant season. But it's, and that's what I mean, Chilwell. That's, it's a bit of a Chilwell or Taggart at the moment. Because mm-hmm. Chilwell's not really playing. Taggart is. No, it's just, you know what else? You know who else actually who's gone on who, who is not in either? None of the Burnley centre backs, Ben Me or, or um Markovsky. Mm, yeah. I thought sorry for them guys, you know. Especially Ben Me. This guy just can't get his call up because I feel like he deserves a call up. Like he's so, like him like Burnley don't con 
Sometimes they get smacked up, but then the other times they keep they're solid at the back. You know, they're really solid. Don't concede many uh, at all. And I feel like yeah. they're very unlucky to not even. But like, yeah, yeah Eric Dyer, Eric Dyer or Tavoski, I take Tavoski every day. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I mean. So I think, yeah, I think Eric Dyer is one of his boys, and I think that's why he's gone. But yeah, so with the midfield, you add Madison, Barnes, and um, Henderson. I'd take out Bellingham. Just because I, I do, you know, we don't know much about him, um, and Grealish as well. Yeah, Lingard wouldn't go, so that's that's quite an interesting one to be fair. Like with Lingard, because he could. What what happens if he plays amazing to the end of the season? He smashes it up for West Ham. It's, oh, it, what do you do? What do you do? Do you drop back? Do you not take Madison or Barnes? I think it's very. Hard. I don't know. It's very harsh. I think it's very harsh to not take Madison and Barnes. Bear in mind, yeah. I th- you also think, right, when two players when two players play together as well, they, it already helps in terms of they're already in sync. I feel yeah. like that is also, I think that also helps when you've got players that have already played together before. Not just international duty, but just in general for their same clubs. Just having that in sync and understanding, I feel like that also potentially helps chemistry-wise. So, do you know what I mean? Like, you look at the front, you've got strikers. I have to say... We've got there's bags of peace in there. There's goals. There's plenty of goals in there. Um, I think I wonder. I think Calvin Lewin. I guess is is lucky. He's probably in there. But then you haven't got many other players that you could possibly. He's put not there. Yeah, I mean, on recent the form. Say, I've, the only thing I say with that is the team that I'm looking at now is for out and out strikers. You've only got Kane and Lewin. Do you know what I mean? The others are more wingers type thing. Do you know what I mean? Or more like. Yeah. You say, maybe say Watkins, but he's well, more of Watkins. a he can yeah, but he can play more on the wing though, can't he? Like he's not a, a big man up front. Do you, do you know what I mean? Whereas Kane and Calvert Lewin, they're big man up front, aren't they? No, oh, but he play, no, but he kind of plays that role for no, but he kind of plays that role for Villa though. He he, he pretty much is the main focal point for the Villa attack, but and he holds the ball up well. I, yeah, I, you yeah. know what? I think the, I think the guys. I think you know what? I think he um, I think he's got a lot to prove. I think I think he'll do all right for England. You know, Watkins. I think he'll do all right. I'm, not, did you I'm, I'm still very gutted Vardy wouldn't come out of retirement, man. Because if Vardy no, came out of retirement... No, but it's good no, for Vardy to say. He's, he, no, but he's looking at longevity and I agree with him. He's looking at it. I could play for England for two more years but I'm going to have to end my career in two years or I cannot play for England and I might get another two years out of my career, which is fair enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but one thing just on Watkins, he's already mentioned Bamford, Southgate, that he's literally a toss-up between Watkins and Bamford. Mate, if mate, if Watkins performs, then it, mate, <laughs> two gone. two Leeds players in the England squad. <laughs> Could you imagine? Two more, imagine that two Leeds Liverpool, no Liverpool player. Yeah, no, that was shocking, that isn't it? <laughs> That'd be class. But then, it, but, then, then, but then, no, but think about it. Gomez would be in the team if he weren't injured. Gomez, if Gomez was not injured, he'd be in the team. He'd be starting as well. Gomez, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, no, he'd no. I'm just squad, trying to think. He'd been for Dyer. Yeah, he'd been for Dyer. And who would you start then? Who would you start in team with the team he's picked? So let's say we're oh, playing. Oh, let's cool. say we're playing. Right, the hardest one. We're playing Poland. It's not San Marino and Albania. Don't, don't matter. But we're playing Poland. Who would you pick? Nick Best Paul. team. Playing goal. I'm going Pope. Nick Pope. Um, I'm gonna play a back. A back three. I'm gonna mix. It. I'm gonna go Carl Walker, uh, right, centre back, Stones in the middle, and then on the left, I'm gonna go Connor Cody. What and drop Maguire? He's left foot as well. Yeah. Listen, okay. just because you're a good meat header on the ball, that's about it. <laughs> Movement wise, Connor Cody's better for me. Uh, midfield, Rice will. Be, Rice has to play uh, along. With what we've got, Rice alongside um, Mason Mount, and then either side of him, I'd go. Um, I think I think I would go Shaw on the left, and on the right hand side, I'm actually going to go Saka. Yeah, three four, three four, and then up front. I'll have Kane and down the middle with Sterling and Rashford because Saka will just terrify I'd put Saka in the midfield midfield four yeah with um, Rice Mount 
and Luke Shaw. Yep. Three four three. No fo- no Foden. Well, it was a toss up between him and Mount, and Mount's playing more. That's the that's one thing. It's a tricky one, but I'm gonna just go Mason Mount. Just because if not, right. I'd have to it'd have to play in the front three, and I can't. I'm not dropping Sterling, and and I've got Rashford for him. So you know what I mean. Well, that's a tricky one. What about you? What are you going for? Right, I've got Nick Pope and goal. But on that as well, I think Nick Pope should be the goalkeeper other than Pickford. I like Nick Pope better. Um, yeah. Then I'd go four at the back. Luke Shaw on the left. Carl Walk on the right. And then I'd go Stone. And then <laughs> don't know. I don't know. You probably, I, I don't know. It's either like Maguire or Cody. Well, you've got to think both of them. Both of them. Okay, put it this way: they're both good headers on the ball. Attacking wise, they were both good in the penalty area. They're both good at scoring goals. Like they can both score goals. Yeah. But I think I just think Cody is a bit more. Um, I think he's faster. I think he's quicker than that. Do you, do you know anything I say? Do you know anything I say? If if you're playing, let's say you're playing in Germany, I don't know if obviously Maguire's got more experience. That's the only thing I say. Do you know what I mean? But I, I, I get what you mean. So yeah, it'd be a toss up between Cody and Maguire, and I'd midfield. I'd have my boy in the, Phillips in the middle, just because he's my boy. And there, uh, oh, and then I'd have um, I'd maybe go Mount and Foden as the two. And then I'd go Sterling mm-hmm. on one side, Rashford on the other side, and Kane down the middle. Okay. And then that's a solid team. Yeah. Too, that's a solid, and then that's a solid. Yeah, but I don't. I think I just, he, oh, he, I just he, feel like in midfield. How can you drop Rice? Oh yeah, but it's, it's also between Rice and Phillips, isn't it? But just because I'm a Leeds fan, I'm going to go Phillips. <laughs> if I want a Leeds fan, I go Rice. <laughs> But yeah, uh, what you, go on. Let's have some score predictions. San Marino. Right, well, we've got San saying? Marino first. Oh, yeah, man, right. I want, I want first. I want first goal scorer. First goal scorer and what scores? So San Marino, you're going six nil. First goal scorer is. Well, I, how can I do that? I don't even know he's playing. Yeah, it don't matter. It's just a random. Right, first goal scorer. Sterling. All right, Sterling. I'm going to write this down to fair. I'm going to see who wins. All right, so 6 0. And you're going Sterling. All right, I'm going. I'm going 8 0. I'm going to go bold. I'm going 8 0. I'm going Foden. I'm going to go cheeky. Bit of cheeky, bit of Foden. Right, and then Albania. Uh, well, they not hurt that bad, you know. I'm going to go 2 0. Go on, first goal scorer. Uh, I'm a good defender. I'm going to go Harry Maguire. Maguire. Right, I'm going to go 4-0. And I'm going to go Sterling. Well, you don't rate these teams, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and then Poland. That's a tougher game, to be fair, Poland. Draw. One no one. way. No Bro, they've got the best. They've got the, probably the best player on the planet right now. Eleven dollars. Nah, but... Are you crazy? They've got the best player on the it... planet. England will win that one. All right, one, uh, one, one. one, one, man. Who's your first goal scorer? Eleven dollars. You can score any time. <laughs> no, no, anytime. any time. I want first. I want first. <laughs> um, ah, right, Eleven dollars. You to score. Eleven dollars. That's shocking. Going against your team. Uh, I'm going to go 3-1 <laughs> I have England. to be real from that they're, good, they're not bad 3-1 three, three with Kane I'm going to go cheeky with Kane because I think they'll start that one well, this is what's going to happen I bet none of them watch this is what will happen right probably none of them will even play that's what probably happen at this point <laughs> oh yeah oh <laughs> the Leeds the Leeds score <laughs> <in> different <laughs> games <laughs> the Leeds score different yeah. games so we'll just go completely they will wrong. score the first goal but it's the wrong game <laughs> <laughs> um, cool that's a bold, fair prediction all right, cool. All right, that's us done. So uh, thanks for tuning in. So a little bit of a, uh, a special episode just on our England announcement. Let us know down in the comments um, who you would have put in or um, who you who you surprised it was uh, surprised it was added in, and let us know your score predictions and who you think is going to score first. And Sean, do you want to say your bit? Come on, England.
Yeah, that's a good way to finish. <laughs> that's all I've got to say. Come on, in, guys. <laughs> Cheers, guys.